Welcome to this B1 printer delivery e-learning session on the Dunning wizard integration. So here we are in business one, and if we look into the B1 printer delivery wizard, we can see that on top of all the normal things like sales, purchase, finance, opportunities, and so on, we have two called others. And one of these others is what we're gonna uh, cover today. And that is the Dunning Wizards. There's a separate learning on the account balance, while the other ones are more or less the same. Uh, so they're covered in general terms. But the Dunning Wizard is uh, a special case because the sub-business one SDK doesn't have anything for uh, the Dunning Wizard. So we need to integrate it into uh, the GUI itself on the, of the Dunning Wizard. And that's also the reason why you can automate it uh, using schedules or our mass delivery. It needs to be run within their GUI. So the Dunning Wizard is down here. And uh, if you turn this on and uh, have a setup, we can enter, uh, we automatically detect that and put uh, you into the Dunning Wizard. And what you will see is that there's a special status field here that is normally SAP's field. But if we look at the nerdy parts of it, uh, you can actually see this is a uh, BOY field. Uh, so meaning it comes from us. And as you can see, I don't have any Dunnings in this uh, system. So let's do a quick Dunning session. And I won't go into how Dunning works. That's uh, up to you to uh, take into account. And I will take a couple of business partners. There should be plenty because this is a demo database with a lot of uh, overdue things. So we just go to the system, not really caring too much about what's going on. We need some euros in this case, but that's just the system. So we get a lot of documents in this case. And um, the real integration you see other than the first status field is when we come to this area. Normally you don't have this combo box and that is because this is from print and delivery. So you can still save your selections and everything, but the execute that SAP normally have, we have taken over and uh, said that we want to either execute and do nothing. So just do the normal execute execute an email, execute and print preview, meaning show them on the screen, print, or save them as files. In most cases, it's all about emailing because you want to send out your Dunning letters out to, to your customers. So you just keep it there, press finish, and the system will take care of the rest of it. In this case, sending out three systems. And I've set it up to be drafts. So I got that Maxitech got their first late payment reminder number one and it will be a quite a huge file because they are very late on all their invoices so multiple pages and this is just a crystal report that has been set up on how it should look uh, and you decide exactly how they they should look of course the same go for power technologies and star company which was the tree we we did it for so as such, it's fairly much the same setup. But if we look at the system, yeah, you can say it's the same setup, but it's a slightly different and more involved uh, system with some more uh, advanced uh, keywords. So if we quickly find the Dunning, I think we can just write Dunning here and we have it here. So if we look at the crystal report itself, that's just a Dunning wizard, but you can see it takes three parameters, not something with doc key and such. It's essentially just what the card number it is, uh, what is the customer, what is the letter, uh, first reminder, second reminder, and so on, and which of the wizard uh, runs was it. So that is fairly simple. Print is just normal print, e uh, preview is just normal email, and email is a bit more uh, advanced again, because in our case, we use these uh, special keywords. And you can see it says 7.0.0. And that is because how would we ever get the name of 
the, the, the thing because it's not really saved in the Dunning wizard list. It only has the C20,000 uh, for MaxiTech and so on. So what we have uh, decided is that the dynamic syntax you can use in these areas is the ones that uh, as if you were on the business partner master data screen. So it will know that seven is the name of the business partner and that's the reason why you use that. So imagine that Dunning will be as if we ran it from the business partner master data screen, should you need special uh, things. And that is actually everything there is to it. If we go back and see uh, in the Dunning, we should be able to see that it now says emailed and executed and we could run it again and so on. And there's actually also one extra thing you can do in that if you go here to your different letters, you can from this screen actually use the buttons here in that I can, for example, go in and mark this and press the e preview and we'll actually get that specific letter. It's a bit hard when you have a lot of these, but if you need to rerun one of them, you can, uh, you can go by doing it like this. Similar, you can just email it and we will get one more of the emails for, in this case, parameter technologies. And if we want to do it again, we can do it once more and we will get some more drafts in this case. So that's everything there's to it, uh, nice and simple. But again, unfortunately, due to SAP limitations, whoops, I just need to turn off a little feature from a previous session. Don't mind me here, there we go. Uh, and if we go in here, you can see there is no Dunning wizard. Everything needs to happen from the Dunning wizard itself. So that, thank you for attending. Hope it was beneficial.